I will show you the two ways you can get the Power BI download, install it and get started in just a few minutes. I will also show you how Power BI Desktop, the tool you would be downloading, fits into the bigger Power BI and the Microsoft BI picture. There are two ways to download Power BI Desktop, the main tool for Power BI. You can download it from the Microsoft download page or you can download it from the Microsoft Windows Store. And I'll tell you which one is better. Now, if you're looking for Power BI for Mac, check out the video in the links. Hey, I'm Avi Singh, Microsoft MVP and best-selling Power BI author. And if you want to become a Power BI Pro, make sure to subscribe and click that bell so you are notified whenever I go live to answer your Power BI questions. You already know that Microsoft Power BI is the hottest, fastest BI and data analysis tool on the market. Gartner has positioned it as a leader for 11 years in a row. Now, Power BI is a rich ecosystem and it's evolving and growing fast. So if you go looking for Power BI, you would find a lot out there and that can be overwhelming. I want to tell you that the gateway to learning Power BI and the gateway to Power BI success is a single tool, Power BI Desktop. And it is available to download for free to everyone. There are other aspects of Power BI that are paid, but we'll talk about that at the end of this video. I mentioned the two ways you can download Power BI. The first one is from the Microsoft download page. And I'll link that page in the description below, or you can also just Google Power BI download and look for the link that looks like this. You can select the language here if you like, or leave it to English. Next, click download and it would give you two options to select from. The one that includes 64 in the file name is the 64-bit download. The other is the 32-bit Power BI download. If you do have a 64-bit computer and most new computers are 64-bit, then I would highly recommend installing the 64-bit version. It would perform faster and better than the 32-bit. Once your selected download completes, just walk through a very standard installation steps and you would be all set with Power BI Desktop. Now let's look at the second method to download Power BI from the Microsoft Windows Store. For this, you can either open the Microsoft Store on your machine and search for Power BI Desktop and then select the one shown here or just go to this URL which is also linked in the description. Again, follow a very standard set of installation steps. At this point, you must be asking, which is the better method? <laughs> I have my preferred method and I would share that, but I would give you the trade-offs of both approaches and let you decide which download approach you use. Using the first method, getting Power BI Desktop from the download page, you would need to install an updated version each time it is released by Microsoft. And that happens like clockwork every single month. It comes loaded with new and exciting features. Using the second method, getting Power BI Desktop from the Microsoft Store, your version would be updated automatically each time a new version is released and is available. The second method can therefore reduce the hassle of downloading and installing a new version each time. However, the first method gives you more control over when you choose to upgrade to the latest version. This can also protect you just in case there are any minor bugs in the updated version. By waiting to download an update, it's likely that those bugs have been caught and resolved thanks to the folks using the second approach, which updates automatically. I prefer the second method to get the Power BI download from the Microsoft Store uh, because I can't wait to get the new features each month. Let me know in the comments below which download method did you decide to follow. Now, before you go, I want to talk about two things. One, the paid version of Power BI and how Power BI Desktop fits into the bigger Power BI ecosystem. Power BI Desktop is a great tool that lets you solve the universal challenges of anyone and any company working with data. And the challenges are collecting data from multiple sources and then making sense of that data by defining calculations and key performance metrics. 
And lastly, expressing that in beautiful and interactive dashboards and reports. And Power BI Desktop lets you do all of those. In fact, I have a complete tutorial playlist right here on YouTube with 20 plus videos that teaches you how to do that step by step. You can access it here or in the links below. So where does the paid version of Power BI come in? Power BI Desktop is and always will be 100% free to everyone. But once you have built those beautiful Power BI dashboards and reports, you would want to share it with your manager and your team, right? You could share the Power BI desktop file and not have to pay a cent. But if you would like to share your reports so users can access it via a browser or a mobile device, then you would need a paid solution. The easiest is PowerBI.com, which starts at just $10 per user per month. And it's free to try. So just go to PowerBI.com and create a free account. If you or your company are not much for the cloud, then there are paid on-premise options as well. I cover Power BI fees and licensing in detail in the video linked here and in the description below. PowerBI.com also gives you advanced capabilities like scheduled refresh, workspaces to work together in Teams, connecting and creating Excel reports connected to your Power BI model, and a lot more. I cover all that in my Power BI step-by-step -step tutorial playlist as well. Access it here or in the links below. Leave a comment and let me know what challenges you are facing with getting started with Power BI. And subscribe and join me live on my Talk Power BI show right here on YouTube. Hey, keep watching more videos and keep learning Power BI. But if you did enjoy this video, I would love to hear from you. So leave a comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Power on, my friends.